Welcome to Whitehill. It's a home away from home this midweek for Glasgow City up against Stirling Uni in a rearranged Scottish Cup tie. A place in the quarter finals awaits. Of course, Champions League took president a couple of weeks or so back, so this game being played tonight. And there is an understrength City team, no Lee and Ross, the captain, among other players out through injuries, and then Jack Clark's place is ineligible. So the headlines Hannah Stewart and Jordan McClintock with their first starts for the club. And also Eric Clackers and goal for Stirling University, one or two experienced heads, despite them losing players this campaign. Lisa Sutherland is one of those, Chloe Logan is a captain and is a decent goalkeeper. Crichton got it from Gerasoli and it's been loose here and rule with support from Kendra Bosnall. Callahan in the middle and it's just over from Callahan. In fact, it's kind of spiralled itself away. Stirling have started well here. Scott Booth not happy. Bosnell across. And that was a decent chance there. Stirling throw. Only half cleared. Trying to find the gap there is Wells. Wriggling through. And... I'm not entirely sure the shout is coming in, fully manages to get it away. One or two pensive looks from the city sidelines. Still with a, a chance here, it is clear despite Rule trying to get on the end of it. Grant tried to help it on. Bonner now the control here, and Bosnell with a big chance here in the fifth minute, and it's a big save from Aaron Clackers. In tonight, the young keeper has had one or two good games he's played this season, all competitions, and Bosnell, really big chance for Sterling. That was a massive chance for Sterling. Twist and a turn, it's backwards and forwards here, and this is another chance here, and Clackers parries it away, Gerasoli away, and the centre was Welsh. Rules run. All right, manages to just reclaim that. A couple of times there, blocked though from Bonner. They'll switch to the other side with Doherty. If you get in the centre, there is Crichton, and that is off the post. That was a first real chance the City have had of note, and that's similar to the goal position she was in against Hamilton, but she scored superbly to Crichton, but this time off the woodwork. Doherty for Gerasoli. City now just started to bed some more time in the ball here. Drew Love looked up. What a pass, and it's Abby Grant! And that is 1-0. And there is the nerve settler after one or two scary moments in the first ten minutes. Sterling started well. Abby Grant opens the scoring, and it all came from Joe Love's pass which was sensational. What a touch from Grant and by Chloe Logan for 1-0. So just after half an hour gone. Doherty's corner. Gerasoli's there and Logan with a superb save. That's tremendous. How about with the high boot? Penalised Gerasoli in that place often. Point blank range stop. Bundle over job, Bill. Anyway, Welsh went over. I think actually she was more taken by her own player. I think that's the argument from Scott Booth. <laughs> Stirling had a good start the last 10 15 minutes. City have got into it, but here is Sutherland. Big chance here, possibly. And it's off the woodwork again, off the crossbar. Stirling University really should have had at least a couple of goals in this first half. Are they going to rue this? Well, they conceded. And that could well have been 1 1. So Sterling gets underway for the second half of Kendra Bosnell, who had that big chance early in the first half. Going right down here for Howitt. Grant, Stewart and Sterling opened up already. Howitt couldn't get on the end of it and the flag goes up against Sam Kerr. But Hannah Stewart looking for her first City goal. Did Logan just get a 
fingernail death if you did that is a super stop Grant's flick there here's how it McClintock McClintock first Glasgow City goal in our first start for the club it's her twelfth appearance of the season but tonight was the night where she got a chance with injuries and well great play had time had space and the flick round and finish was superb from Jordan McClintock Only well, just dispossessed there and on to Kirsty Howitt on a dance by Sutherland and what a finish from Kirsty Howitt what a little run she's on at the moment, really sparked for the Champions League. She started the season really well with goals, and then became more of a provider for the likes of Abby Grant. But that's another goal to our tally. Just dance around, as I say, and then to the net. Well worked, and now City, despite all the changes tonight in the team, are stretching their legs. Gerasoli. Doherty just shutting herself away from Rule. Howitt 4 0. It's a double for Kirsty Howitt. And it was Doherty this time. And look at the little ball threaded through the two defenders. And Howitt on the spin and turn and finish. All oh, very comfortable now in the 65th minute. Dr. spins back here from McClintock. Grant in the centre. Ho -ho. That was a devilishly good ball from Jordan McClintock. Sutherland in the way, but Grant over. Dr. Tate. The corner. Grant! Rocket, 20th of the season in all competitions, and how about that? Virtually broke the net. Was it cleared properly from the Fizzer corner and bang? That's how to do it. Sutherland's free kick. Clackers gave the shout. Love got in there throwing. That one just bounces away. Suddenly going to feel like they've missed one or two great chances in this game. Okay, it comes away with this, Howitt making the run, and it's uh, a bit of time with space now for Kirsty Howitt. Sam Kerr is, oh, she might get a second goal. Logan makes a good save. Never quite got there first time, Kerr. Got there on the rebound, but Logan at it with the stop. It was cleared off the line by the defender of Bonnet initially. <laughs> Full time, Glasgow City through to the quarter final of the SSE Scottish Women's Cup which they will take on 30-year Renfrew away from home in September. And well, 5 now. some good stuff, but in the second half. Sterling could have had a couple in the first half, some chances, perhaps maybe one in the second. It couldn't have been any score, but City's much changed side has done the job here in their home game, although not quite at their regular home on this Wednesday evening. Hamilton away on Sunday, 4 o'clock kickoff in New Douglas Park before the international break in the league. And the final score here at Whitehill was Glasgow City 5, Stirling Uni 0.